Okay, finally, I want to let you know about your final project, finally, finally, and that is the house. It will be due by noon on the last day of class, which is December 8th, and I do have the rubric that I'm going to show you in just a moment. Um, I also want you to know that in addition to today's learning plan, which is learning plan 10, week 13, um, I will have also opened up week 14, which um, by the way, is December 1st. That's a work day, and here's where your two drop boxes are for the label and the web banner. And I have opened week 15, which is your final project. Um, in this, I also included some samples. So what you're going to do for this project is you're going to find a photo of a house. Perhaps it's your house, a dream house, whatever. And you're going to recreate a vector drawing of this building. You're going to include professional level detail to make this worthy of your final project and a portfolio piece. And I want you to really to showcase all your skills. So if you turn in something that is a square filled with brown and a triangle filled with black and a fake tree from the symbols, and you could have done it virtually on week two or three of this class, that's not going to be what I'm looking for. So. Your Illustrator file must have the template layer included, which is the photo, which means it's literally a template layer. Refresh your memory on that. It's not just a photo in the back. It's not a photo on another artboard. It's literally a template layer. If you use any fonts, um, house numbers are usually the most common time that, that happens. Make sure that they're Adobe fonts, or if they're not, if there's something unique, you turn them into outlines. I do not want to get a missing font message that I can't resolve. If it's just activating an Adobe font, that's fine. But if it's something I don't have and not Adobe, that's points off. And you're also going to be giving a designer statement. So I've included a few images from last year and beyond. So um, one thing I want to note is like this tree or maybe these trees are symbols. But as you can tell, they put a lot of effort into the actual house and other issues where I'm okay that they use that for the tree. They didn't create it from scratch. However, if you do a very plain house and then use a thousand symbols to decorate it, that's a problem. That's not showing original work. Uh, here's another one. You can see they use some brush strokes. Here is another from times past. There's somebody's version of their own house. You know, you can have fun with this. And again, don't just leave it on a plain background. Put in some, you know, foreground, grass, sky, maybe a picket fence. You're really wanting to showcase everything you learned in Illustrator. And Gingy's Gingerbread House. So there's a bunch of examples here. Um, your Dropbox is in week 15. This is 100 points. And let's take a look at the rubric, which I already had open, but I want to make sure it's working correctly. All right. So use multiple tools to create a detailed portfolio worthy piece. Um, any fonts must be Adobe or turned into outlines. Your accompanying document, your artist statement, and designer statement, is going to describe your process and main goals. Minimum three-fourths to one page in length. The original house um, needs to be represented. It doesn't have to be an exact replica, but I need to, it basically needs to look like a drawing of that same house. Something that you could show a client. Think about architects perhaps doing this. The photo itself has to properly be an actual template layer. Make sure you get that right. Um, ability to work on your own. If anybody's working with tutors, this is a project that you cannot have tutoring help on. This is like your final test. And then finally, 25 points for creativity challenge, attention to detail. Um, this is where maybe you do all of the competencies, but you do them at a very beginner level or don't push yourself. It's something that you probably could have done quite a while ago. Um, I'm not looking for that anymore. I'm looking for a really good example of what you learned in Illustrator. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, that will be due by noon on December 8th. 
And again, the last two class periods for my in-class people are work days. So you can choose to be on campus or choose to stay home and work. Your attendance is not required. So have any questions, let me know and have a great time with these projects.